Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if Windows Spotlight lock screen picture won't change on your Windows machine. Now, just to talk about Windows Spotlight, uh, this is a feature which is included in Windows 10 that uses Bing to automatically download and set new background images uh, on the lock screen. Now, the only problem with the Windows Spotlight is that sometimes it will stop working and you will notice that it, the images get stuck on the same Spotlight um, image and the images would, wouldn't change. Now, there are a couple of steps uh, which you can try to go ahead and fix the problem. Now, the first thing uh, you will have to try before uh, trying any steps is you will have to go ahead and disable the Windows Spotlight. To do that, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on your desktop go to personalize or personalization once you're on this uh, screen on the setting screen you will have to go to lock screen under lock screen you will have to change the background from windows spotlight to picture and close this window what you will have to do is you will have to open run command and in the run command you will have to go ahead and type um, the following path I will mention this path in the video description and click on OK so once you click on OK um, it will uh, you will have to do a select all so what we will be doing is we'll be deleting all these files which are associated with the uh, Windows Spotlight now you don't have to worry about uh, deleting these files these are um, no longer associate those these files are not associated with your Windows operating system however these are related to your Windows Spotlight images so what you can do is you can uh, either you can press Control A to select all the images and uh, delete. And once these files are deleted, so once you clear all these uh, files, uh, what you will have to do is you will up, you will have to open the run command again and in the by pressing Windows and R key and type this command, um, the following command. I will mention this command in the video description and click on OK. Now this will take us to this particular uh, file location and you will be able to see the file which says roaming.loc and settings.dat. So what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and rename this file. You will have to, uh, to do a right click and click and rename and you can uh, rename it as old. Click on yes again Do a, and also rename settings.dat. Um, click on rename and name it as settings.dat.old and uh, click on ok once you have uh, done this uh, follow this step what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and restart your computer once you restart your computer uh, you can you may go ahead and uh, enable the windows spotlight back on the screen and see if it is working so you go back to the desktop do a right click click on personalize and uh, and go to lock screen and change the picture um, the background from picture to spotlight and uh, see if that works in case if that this works well and good in case if it does doesn't work what you will have to do is you will have to try the next step uh, in order to do the next step what you will have to do is you will have to change the background image from windows spotlight to picture in case if you don't change it you might get the error message in the following step so once you have changed the picture uh, what you will have to do is you will have to run the command you have to open a uh, windows powershell on your computer so to do that you can click on search in the search you can go ahead and type powershell or a windows powershell and you click on run as administrator in case if you get user access prompt you may click on yes or continue once you have Windows PowerShell open, uh, in the PowerShell, you will have to go ahead and type this command. Uh, to paste this command, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click, click on edit and click on paste. And uh, once you click on paste, you will have to hit enter. So you will have to wait till um, to uh, complete this command. Now you might see this message saying that access is denied. That's because you may not have restarted the computer. So it is very much uh, important to go ahead and restart the computer before you try the first step. In case if you have not restarted the computer, there is a very much a possible reason that you, you will get this error message. So make sure you go ahead and restart the computer. After completing all this step, uh, once you have run the um, PowerShell command, and uh, the command is successful once it is executed successfully you will have to go ahead and restart the computer again and once you restart the computer again go ahead and re-enable the windows spotlight feature by go by going to desktop do a right click 
go to personalize and under lock screen switch back from picture to window spotlight and um, that should fix the problem so if you look at the screen the image has been uh, refreshed and is updated with the new image so i hope this video was useful in case if you like this feature or like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day